six. And here we are in the fourth quarter of season 99. You mentioned Mapua, a third quarter team. They've averaged 23 third quarter points in the first two games. They have 22 here in game three. Big question now, Anton, will they sustain or will change the flow? Because apparently, every fourth quarter of game one and game two, they've really been struggling. Andrada with a big time triple and a foul on the shot by Joe Soriano. Yuki and Andrada answering the call. Big time basket by Yuki and Andrada who now leads Sanbera in scoring with 14 points, 3 out of 5 from beyond the arc. Pero ang tanong dito, as you mentioned in your top picks, number one, finish strong. Mapua only averaging 10.5 points in the fourth quarter here in the finals. That's gonna be a big question. Kung paano nga naman tatapos ng napakalakas, especially dito sa ating do or die game three battle. Let's go to Lexi Gonzalez who has this update on the Mapua side. This is a new feat for the Mapua Cardinals and it's a known fact that nobody expected them to get this far and lead to the finals. They weren't part of the favorites. They started as underdogs, but they are here today to prove everyone that they're also a team to look out for. That's why right now to secure a 32-year, much-awaited championship, Coach, Ra Coach Randy just sticks to a strong defense and for his players to hold out till the end. Strong and steady will make Mapua legendary, Anton and Coach Topek. Could they be nine minutes away from ending that more than three decade drought, the Mapuans are holding on to their breath right now. And a foul again on a shot. Second time Mapua has fouled a jump shooter coach. That's going to be crucial as we look at si Warren Bonifacio. He might be struggling offensively, but the veteran that he is, he nanap niya yung kanyang open teammate, which happened to be one of the hottest playing guys para sa kopona ng San Beda. Anang Mapua, itong si JC Recto, 16 points. 13 rebounds at tatlong assists, Anton. Back-to-back, double-double performances from JC Recto coming alive here in the finals, especially in the last two games. One of the things na dapat talaga pagtuunan ng pansin nitong Mapua are those unnecessary fouls. You cannot foul a jump shooter. Palagi nating sinasabi yun sa ating mga manlalaro. But obviously, with the opportunity or the situation at hand, doon sila dapat talagang kumalma at basahing mabuti ang sitwasyon that's in front of them. Bola na sa Mapua. Isang puntos. Ang pinoprotekta din ang lamang. Recto, binigay dito kay Dalisay. One dribble, pull up, binig. Rebound para sa mga bedista. And you've got to wonder how long Paolo Hernandez will remain on the bench para sa Cardinals. Andrada na naman. Masyadong malakas. Bola na kay Escamis. Napulot ni Cuenco. Recto! With a finish on the break! That was a good read coming from Cuenco. Making sure that with the two, three against two, he will make the best decision. JC Recto with a career high 18 points. What a time for it to come. Andrada, another one! Second deadlock of the game. Chance of defense reverberating around the Aradata Coliseum. Bonifacio, elbow jumper. Wala pa rin. Warren Bonifacio continues to struggle here in these finals. The team captain playing in his final game in the NCAA. Payosik recovers the loose ball. A chance to take back the lead. James on the drive. And Mapua committing some fouls here. That's the third team foul, and it's still very early in the fourth coach. That was a bad decision coming from Mapua, obviously. As much as possible, you want to play honest defense. Both of those possessions, Kanina, because of the one on one breakdown that they've been having, a lot of players are really stepping up. At kaya naman pinag natin itong si Yutin Andrada, that's really been contributing a lot 
while wala pa itong si Jacob Cortez. So tingnan naman natin pagpasok ni Jacob kung how will he will finish for this final game three. Jacob Cortez back on the floor. Collective applause from the Bedans here in attendance. James Payosi gives the lead back to San Beda. James Payosing, a 64.1% free throw shooter coming off the bench in back-to-back -back games. The only two times he has come off the bench for San Beda this season. And Payosing converts on those two all-important free throws. Tenth lead change. Bola na kay Escamis. Cortez defending him. Escamis for three. No! Tagle picks up the rebound. Tagle, binigay kay Cortez. Cortez slicing through the defenders. Binigay kay Andrada. You can do it. You can Andrada. Give San Beda a five-point lead. Recto with the response. Mapua firing blanks here in the fourth. Let's go quickly now to Hannah Arguelles. Thank you so much, Anton. As you can see, the energy is electric right now. And it is a grueling back and forth between the Red Lions and the Cardinals. So what Coach Yuri is once again emphasizing to his team is individual defense. And when I check on Jacob Cortez, his right leg is still being stretched. And he says that the paint is currently at an 8 out of 10. So in the short amount of time left in the fourth quarter, I ask and answer this question. Can a legacy be defined in 10 minutes? Yes, it can. And in this game, make it two legacies. That's all from the side of the Red Lions, Anton and Coach Tomex. Many legacies can be defined on this day. And players that believe the most will be defining their stories for the rest of their lives. Yukian Andrada, big time basket, game high, 20 points right now. Anton, this is where heroes are born. Gate attendance, 23,077. That broke the Game 2 attendance record of 22,465. Maraming maraming salamat, mga kapuso. This is our live gate attendance here at the Araneta Coliseum for Game 3. 23,077 roaring Mapuans and Pedans. But again, Jacob Cortez feeling the effects of cramps on that right leg. And he's trying to stay relaxed, stay zen amidst the ruckus, amidst the roaring fans from both sides. Another crucial turnover. Cuenco, unsuspecting. Tagle. The variety of point guards, AJ Royo, Evan Tagle, Nigel Gonzalez, and Peter Alfaro have supported the King Lion, Jacob Cortez today, Coach Topex. Jacob Cortez, as much as he was sitting on the bench, a damning support group that really provided the power para sa kopa ng San Beda. Habang nakakapagpahinga siya, talking about Payosing, talking about itong si Andrada, who has really been providing the firepower offensively para sa kopa ni Coach Yuri Escueta. A huge second half for Yuki and Andrada. Right now, a game-high 20 points. Andrada, second-leading scorer of San Beda, averaging 12.2 points per contest. Exceeding that output here in Game 3. Andrada, not that time. Hats off to Jacob Cortez. Has been cramping up since the third period. He is gutting it out here. Hernandez is also back on the floor para sa Mapua. Bola na kay Escamis. Escamis. Nagahanap ng mapapasan. Binigay kay Paulo. Paulo, aatake. Hernandez. No! Bonifacio. No! Sorry misses at the rim. Cortez. Good closeout by Cuenco. 
But Cortez has the moves. Here's the King Lion. Jake from Cortez. Much in the clutch for Jacob. Zion Cortez puts Sanbera on top. 68 to 61. Timeout Mapua. Five minutes and 24 seconds. Yan ang oras na natitira dito sa ikaapat na yugto ng Game 3, ang huling laban dito sa Season 99 ng NCAA. Maraming salamat mga kapuso sa inyong panonood. Anton Ross working alongside Coach Topex Robinson in what has been a classic encounter, another classic Game 3 in the history of the NCAA. Napakalaking katangunan dito para sa court pa ng Mapua. Will they be able to add more points sa kanilang four, four points so far dito sa court court because they finish off with 57 so far. They only scored four. Finishing strong has been always the big question mark para sa court pa ng Coach Randy Alcantara. It's the same situation, the same problem for the Cardinals but they still have time. And that's a turnover by the rookie, and he even lost his shoe in the process. That's how fast he is for his own good. Itong si Nigel Gonzalez. Panibagong pagkakataon para sa Mapua, staring at a 7-point deficit. A 15-4 run by the Bedans. Escamis with a jumper. Escamis has been cold here in the second half. 10 points in the first half, just 3 here in the second. What was missing para sa kapala ng Mapua was the execution that they had at the start of the first quarter. As we see dito si itong si Warren Bonifacio really having a hard time with the physicality of this game. Mapua has been searching for their big man, their longest tenured player. Where is Warren? He has 4 minutes and 47 seconds to show up here in this deciding game. Sometimes it's not really your scoring, but your leadership that has to be tested. And I'm sure Coach Randy Alcantara will bet everything on his veteran, Warren Bonifacio. They've already won a championship together, the first ever championship of the Malayan Red Robinson High School. This is a tandem that goes 10 years back. And this is a hero who was born here in Season 99. Jacob Cortez, the King Lion, coming up big. Rosilio gives the ball to Warren. Pinigay dito kay Hernandez. Back to Warren Bonifacio. Pinalik dito kay Hernandez for three. That's what we're talking about. The leadership of Warren Bonifacio. Yes, he might not be scoring, but he could easily force his shot kanina at Ton, but still decided to go with his teammates, which nailed the three. Itong si Hernandez. A foot on the line, so just a two-pointer para kay Hernandez. And a rebound by Bonifacio. Escamis. Binigay kay Dalisay. Dalisay. Rosilio pulls up for three. Hopia with a rebound. Sanbera holding on to a 68 to 63 lead. Andrada for three. Rebound by Yosik. Another crucial offensive rebound for Sanbera. By Yosik, spin move. By Yosik, fade away. Wala. Another offensive rebound. Cliff Hop 
Piak playing in his final game in the NCAA with an all-important rebound. The six foot eight, 25 year old from Danao City, Cebu. Rosinho, Bonifacio, Dalisai for three, short. Mapua, only seven points here in the fourth quarter. Sanbera with 15. Emma Tagle. Tagle steps back for three. In and out, Tayosi again. He did it again. And the pennants are feeling it. Back to their biggest lead of the game at nine. Timeout Mapua. Heroes are either born or made. Paulo Hernandez was a hero for Mapua pretty much his entire career in the NCAA from high school to college. But names like Cliff Hopia, Peter Alfaro, Dami Kuntapay, graduating players from the San Beda side looking to celebrate alongside their new heroes, just like the sophomore. James Payosin coming up with an all-important rebound. Finish strong. Coach Topex Robinson, this was your first key to victory for Mapua. That's really going to be crucial. We mentioned earlier, Ayo natin a repeated pitch yung mangyayari para sa Mapua. They finished 20, 22 points doon sa ating third quarter and so far, they've really been struggling in this fourth quarter. And a steal by Payosin. James Payosi, a candidate for finals MVP, should San Beda finish the job. James Payosi draws a foul. And coach, I think the three early fouls that San Beda drew were big in the fourth. That really stopped the momentum para sa oponan ng Mabua because now you cannot commit a foul because you're gonna bring a red shirt in the free throw line. And so far, itong San Beda has been shooting well from the free throw. What a story for James Payosing, a Sun Better Red Cup, but last season was part of the reserve list, wasn't even part of the main roster. And with the departure of James Quecote, the role of James Payosing suddenly expanded, became a starter, but accepted the bench role in the past two finals games, coach. Patience is a virtue para dito kay James Payosing. Just waiting for that sweet little time para sa kanyang opportunity. And the proud father of James Payosi, who hails from Davao de Oro but grew up in Surigao del Sur. Escaves missing for three. Time is slowly running out on the Cardinals, but they get a steal. A glimmer of hope. Cuenco for three. Cyrus Cuenco! They're still alive at the end of the tunnel for Mapua. But that light is slowly getting dim. Payosing has the basketball. Jacob Cortez, the King Lion, is on the bench suffering from cramps. James Payosing draws another foul. James Payosing. Walang iniiwang opportunity just when everybody aspired. He has extra air 
left in his stand, finishing strong, attacking the basket, and again, forcing itong si Bonifacio to his fifth and final foul dito sa season 99. Warren Bonifacio playing his final minute and second in his NCAA career. Final game, seven rebounds, three assists, only four points, two out of eight from the field in 26 minutes. You've got the feel for Warren Bonifacio who has spent 10 years with Mapua, 10 years in the NCAA as a student athlete, but now has to watch as his team tries to pull off a miracle. All is not lost para sa kumpana ng Mapua with 1 minute and 27 left. Down by 8 points, you have to make sure you're gonna go down swinging. Hopia with a rejection of the MVP. James Payosik with his fourth double-double this season. The Sun Beda community is starting to feel it. I can feel the presence of Bedans behind us. Coach Topex Robinson standing up, waiting to celebrate. All we see is red at this part of the closing minutes of the fourth quarter. go. Jacob Cortez, the King Lion, rallying his troops, doing whatever he can on the bench. As they are on the verge of history, knocking on history's doorstep. Referees will try to determine who touched the basketball last. Assistant coach Yong Garcia coaching to the very last second. Escamis and Hernandez are on the bench though, coach. Yeah, I think that's going to be for defensive purposes. I'm sure itong uh, Mapua is trying to steal the ball and go for the foul and uh, send a San Beda player in the free throw line. Jacob Cortez is back on the floor for the Red Lions. Gonzalez, binigay dito kay Tagle. Cortez, hinihingi ang bola. Bola na sa King Lion. Double team comes. Cortez picks up the loose ball. And could that be a foul? Balikan natin dito, Jacob Cortez. Natapikan, ginobol team na. A furious chase for the loose ball. Bola na sa Mapua. 30.9 seconds to go. Recto for three. Rebound. James Payosing. He did it again. Another all-important rebound for Payosing. Pero may chance pa dito ang Mapua. Seconds on the shot clock for the Cardinals. Escamis for three. Hopia. Get a big And Tagle is fouled. Evan Tagle. What a game. Another red cup turned red lion. And here comes Coach Yuri Escueta. 
with a beautiful gesture bringing in the graduating players coach Topex you have to give credit where credit is due because when San Beda was struggling they defended on this, this uh, their, their veterans you know kaya naman fitting tribute to his veterans putting in itong si Contapay at itong si Peter Alfaro who will come out after 15 seconds as champions and on his birthday as well Peter Alfaro celebrating his 25th birthday today and San Beda moments away from a record 23rd men's basketball championship Tagle converts on the free throw Seconds remaining. Ball is with the rookie MVP, Clint Escamis. Escamis for three. No. Recto. There's still time. 3.2 seconds to go. But the celebration has begun. And Coach Yuri Escueta has done it once again. San Beda, champions, kings of NCAA basketball, they win NCAA season 99. <laughs> wow, what a way to finish this season if you're San Beda. Nobody thought that you will make it. You struggled at the start, a lot of questions were raised. Kung ito bang team na to is good enough to win a championship. Coach Yuri Squeta being questioned, is he good enough to lead the San Beda team? And now we have a champion in San Beda Red Lions. On the other end, though, heartbreak, emotions pouring over as they came so close to their goal. But as the story ends, we know this in the world of sports, Coach Topex. There will be one winner and there will be one team that will learn from this loss and grow. We have to give credit also to the Mapua Cardinals. Just like what you mentioned, same story ito ng San Beda coming into the season. Nobody would really expected them to go all the way. Short, yes, they did. But you have to give respect to the players that Coach Randy Alcantar has built in this program. It's not over yet. Clint Escame still has years of eligibility. Paulo Hernandez also has one more year of eligibility. Our best player of the game, your choice, Coach Topex Robinson. A fitting final game of the season for Yuki and Andrada. Yuki and Andrada left off where J Jacob Cortez was missing. Yuki Yuki Nerdrada scoring huge in the third.